Minnie's birthday gifts. Difficult words with meaning. Page number six. Wrapped. Meaning is covered. Eager. Strong desire to do something. Shyly. Nervously. Stack. Pile up. Now difficult words with meaning. Page number seven. Miniature. Small or toy. China, ceramic, a type of clay, tiny, small, odd shaped, of different shape, not, moving head downward and upward. In agreement when we agree something we nod now reading all of you please open the book and listen to your teacher after the teacher finishes read it again the birthday party had ended Minnie's friends had given her many gifts they were all wrapped in pretty colored paper Minnie was eager to open them. After the last of her guests had gone, she helped her mother clean the room. Then she helped her father remove the decorations. Minnie's parents knew that Minnie could not wait to open her birthday gifts. Her mother suggested, Minnie, why don't you bring all your presents here? You have helped us put back everything in their place. I'm sure you must be eager to open your gifts now. Minnie smiled shyly. She got all her gifts and stacked them neatly on a table. Now we will read the page number 7. Next. Come now. Open the boxes one by one, said father. Minnie picked up the first gift and opened it. There was a miniature china tea set inside it. You could organize a tea party for your dolls with that. The dolls can drink from these tiny cups, suggested mother. Minnie liked the idea. Open another one, Minnie said father. Minnie opened a large odd shaped gift. It contained badminton's racket and two shuttlecocks. I will teach you to play badminton Minnie, said father. We will begin next Sunday. Minnie really wanted to learn how to strike a shuttlecock high into the air. Then she could play badminton with her friend in the park. Minnie opened another gift. It had a cute little alarm clock. Now I shall never be late for school, Minnie said to her parents who nodded in agreement. There were three colorful balls, four dolls, a jigsaw puzzle, and a lovely woolen scarf in the other gift boxes. I have been watching Dia's mother knit that scarf all of last week, said Minnie's mother. Then you should thank her, Minnie, said father. Minnie got an idea. Mom and Dad, I would like to thank all my guests for the lovely gifts they have given to me this Sunday. I will write a thank you note to each one of them. 
Mother and father liked the idea very much. They told me to go ahead and do just that. Now we will solve the exercises. All of you have uh, listened to the, your teacher carefully. If you feel any difficulty, you can read that again. This is exercise A and you need to take the correct answer. The first one is, many could not wait to, now there are three options, A, have a party, B, go to sleep, C, open the gift. Now guess the answer, go to sleep, mm -hmm. open the gift. Number two, Minnie's father would teach her to play A, cricket, B, football, C, badminton. And correct answer is C, badminton. Number three, Dia's mother had knitted A, a doll, B, a puzzle, C, a scarf. And correct answer is a scar. Number four. Many will write notes to say A. Sorry. B. Thank you. C. Excuse me. Correct answer. Excuse me. Let's see. Thank you. Number five. The scarf was made of answers are A. Silk B. Wool C. Cotton And correct answer is Wool now we will solve exercise B. Read and take the sentences that are true. The first one is Minnie helped her mother remove the party decoration. Wrong. Because Minnie helped her father to remove the party decoration. Number two. There was a tea set in the first gift. Correct. Three. Minnie's father will teach Minnie to play badminton from Monday. So what the father de decided? From which day they will start to learn how to play badminton? Monday. No, that was not from Monday, Sunday. Number four, Dia's mother had knitted a woolen jacket. What did Dia's mother knit? A jacket? Wrong. A scarf. Number five, Minnie got four dolls as gifts. Correct. Number six. Minnie will write thank you notes on Sunday. Correct. Number seven. This tea set was made of ceramic. Mm, in the chapter we read and we listened. It was made of china and that is a type of clay. We also call that ceramic. So answer would be 
correct. Now, exercise B we will solve here. Part A, refer to the context and answer these questions. Sentence number one. You could organize a tea party for your dolls with that. Now remember, who said this to whom? Hmm, guess the answer. Now check your answer. Mother said this to many. Next one. When does the speaker say this sentence? Hmm. Remember the occasion? What was happening in the chapter? Now check the answer. Mother said this sentence when Minnie opened the first gift. Number next. What does that refer to? In the above sentence, you could organize a tea party for your dolls with that. What is that in that sentence? That mean? Hmm. Now check the answer. That refers to the miniature china tea set. Question number two for that. We will begin next Sunday. This you will solve yourself. Answer formation would be on the same rule. You will write same type of sentences. Just one or two words would be changed here. So try it yourself. Question number three, what gifts did Minnie get on her birthday? In last paragraphs, we have answer of the question and you can write all the items here which Minnie got on her birthday as gifts. Remember one thing that after writing each item or thing, you will put a comma and before last one you will add there and. Question number four. Why was Minnie keen to learn to play badminton? This is why question. Usually why questions answer are not present in the passage or text, but sometime you have to write them yourself. But I think uh, reason for this question's answer is present in the chapter. Minnie wanted to learn how to play badminton because she wanted to play with her friend. Answer would be on the same pattern. Minnie was keen to play badminton because she wanted to dash. You will complete yourself. The next question is here for you. This is question number five. What did Minnie plan to do the following Sunday? Following Sunday, Minnie had two things to do and uh, one was planned by Minnie and second one by the father. That was indeed the suggestion from father's side. So Minnie planned to write dash. You will complete answer yourself. Last question. 
Why does Minnie want to write thank you notes to all her guests? Why questions are easy to answer? If you have read or listened to the chapter or passage carefully. Why? Minnie wants to write thank you note. Minnie wanted to write thank you note to all her guests for their lovely gifts. So we have finished uh, the chapter and exercises and everything. If you feel difficulty, listen to the passage again and again and then try to complete all the exercises. Thank you.